This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create and save your own custom swatches using Adobe Illustrator. So to get us started here in Illustrator, as you can see, I've pasted in my example image that I'd like to sample some colors from. And over here, I've created a series of rectangles, and I've filled them in with the colors that I'd like to save as my swatch. Now, the fact that they're rectangles is not important. It could be virtually any shape you'd like, but as long as it's filled with the color that you'd like to save, that's what matters. So what I'm going to do now is with these objects selected, you want to make sure you have these objects selected that you want to save and go to Window and open up the Swatches menu. And this may be difficult to, to see, unfortunately, because this is a pretty small uh, menu. But what you want to do is look for this little folder icon over here at the bottom that says New Color Group and click on that. And I'm just going to name this Beach. You can name it whatever you like. The name is unimportant. And uh, where it says Create From, it should be Selected Artwork by default. But if not, just go ahead and enable that and click OK. And if you notice, it adds the swatches down here as a new group. Okay, so what you want to do now to ensure that you'll be able to use this swatch in the future when you open other documents in Illustrator, because right now it's only saved in this document, you're going to want to save this to your library. So to do that, we're going to click on this icon down here to the bottom left that says Swatch Libraries Menu, and I'm going to click on Save Swatches. It should be the first item up here up top. And I'm going to save this as Beach and press Enter. Okay, so now if you come down here, if you click this icon again, the Swatch Libraries Menu, come down here to user to find, you should see your custom swatch saved in there. So if you go and open up a new document, in the swatches menu, you'll notice your custom swatch is now gone. You'll have to open that up by clicking on this icon and going to user to find, and there you go, beach. It opens it up in its own little menu over here. And there you have it. So that is how you can go about creating and saving your own custom swatches using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.